is Kate back again with another fun STEAM lesson for you and this week we got some fun STEAM activities that involve being outside in the sun. So hopefully it's a super nice day out for you and let's get started on this week's activity. Alrighty, so in this activity you're going to learn about and see how effective sunscreen is, even when you're making an art project out of it. So let's start learning about sunscreen and how it affects our skin. Now our bodies need sunlight and we need the rich vitamin D that we get from the sun so that we can be strong and healthy. However, our skin exposed to too much sun can be harmful. The skin is the largest organ that humans have and we need to make sure that we take important precautions to keep it healthy, just like we do for our muscles and our bones. And the way we can do that is by protecting our skin from those prolonged periods of exposure to harmful ultraviolet light rays that the sun gives off. This can also be done by wearing sunscreen. Now sunscreen works by using organic and inorganic ingredients and chemicals to help build up an extra layer of protection on our skin from the harmful UV rays. And these components in the sunscreen work by absorbing those UV radiations that the sun gives off and disbanding it as heat. This is why when you don't wear sunscreen, you likely experience a sunburn. And sunburns often feel warm and cause your skin to turn red. And this is the body's way of breaking down and releasing that heated energy from the damaging UV rays that the body absorbed while being in the sun without protection. And over time, repeated sun damage to the skin makes it more likely to develop things such as skin cancer. So that's why it's really essential to take good care of your skin. So now let's go do an activity that shows the effectiveness of sunscreen. So for the first activity we're going to do today is kind of an art project and experiment in one. And that is going to be some sunscreen paintings. So let's talk about the different supplies you're going to need. Alrighty, for your first supplies you're going to need is some dark piece of construction paper or cardstock paper. And it can be any kind of dark color works best. Um, so anything like a dark green, a blue or a purple or a black piece of paper um, does work best for this project. So I have here a square of some black construction paper. And then you are also going to need some sunscreen, of course. Um, the liquid type of sunscreen does work best, but if all you have is the spray kind, you can use it. You just have to spray it onto your paint brushes. Um, for mine, I'm going to be using level 15. Um, if what you can also do for this project is test out different kinds of sunscreen. So if you have different levels of sunscreen, that would work awesome too. So I'm going to be using level 15 liquid sunscreen for mine. And then the other uh, supplies you're going to need is just a paintbrush. It can be any size. Um, you can switch between multiples. It's just what you're going to be painting onto your paper with your sunscreen. Alrighty, so after you have all your supplies collected, go ahead and take your sunscreen and you can squirt it onto a piece of paper or a napkin and then put your paintbrush in it and then put on your paper. Um, I know what I wanna draw, so I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt a little bit of it onto my paper. And then you can take your paintbrush and you can paint whatever you want. You can do a design, you can write your name, you can even put it on your hand and then put your handprint on the paper. Do whatever you want, just get creative with it. Um, so begin um, making your design onto your dark piece of colored paper. Alrighty guys, so here is my drawing that I did. I just did a fun little sun um, for my project. Uh, but once you are done doing your drawing, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna set it outside for at least 15 minutes in some area that gets some nice sun. So either like your driveway or your lawn. Um, and if it is a windy day, you might wanna tape it down to either your driveway or put some rocks on it or something to make sure that it doesn't blow away. Um, but leave it outside for 15 minutes and actually, if you want to leave it out there longer, if you're not seeing the results yet, the more you leave it in the sun, the better the results will be. But at least 15 minutes will do. Um, but once you are done, you will, will see your final results. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick mine outside and I will be back as soon as it is ready. Alrighty guys, so I'm outside. It has been about 15 minutes and you can see my lovely sun drawing here. Um, and you will notice how all the other areas that I didn't apply sunscreen to has faded, but the sunscreen protected the areas that I applied it to in my sun drawing. Um, and now has a lovely sun imprint on it. Um, but the sunscreen protected those areas of your paper just the same way that it does protect your skin. Um, so yeah, you can test out this project also with doing different protectant levels of sunscreen. 
Um, I only did this one with 15, uh, level protection of 15, um, whereas if you do it with like, let's say 30, you might get different results. Um, so maybe you use uh, your science skills um, to form, perform a different experiment of um, using different protectant levels, but have fun with it. Um, and I do have another activity here for you in a second. So another activity you can do is some shadow drawings and you can either go outside if it's a sunny day or um, if you're inside and have a well lit area that you can use a light to create some shadows. But what you're going to need is a piece of paper, some coloring materials such as markers, crayons, colored pencils, anything like that. And then you're also going to need an object that you want to cast a shadow with. So um, animal figurines work really well for this um, or toys. Um, for mine, I'm going to be using this fake flower here. Um, but what you're going to do is you are going to put it into the sun um, and have your shadow of your objects um, go, on, go on your piece of paper and it should be super elongated um, and kind of funny looking. And what you're going to do is you're going to trace that shadow with your coloring materials. Alrighty, so I'm here in the sun and I have my fake flower standing up here in my flower pot here. And I'm going to actually try to trace some of my flowers, my real life flowers here as well. Um, but what you can see is how it casts a shadow and then you'll just take your marker and um, just kind of go over those areas that you see on the shadow. And that is how you do your shadow drawing. So just something like this, just kind of trace your objects. And again, it's really cool if you use like figurines or some toys that you like, um, and then you can make them. Sometimes if you put it in a certain way, the um, shadow will be like kind of elongated and look kind of funny and stuff like that. So try out different objects, try toys, try uh, materials that you find outside. Like again, those flowers, but you can see here, it's just kind of, it matches my shadow of my flower. Alrighty guys, I hope you had fun with your sunscreen and shadow drawings today. Um, another thing you can do with your shadow drawings if you have some sidewalk chalk at home um, and you're hanging out with a friend or you have a sibling, um, you can have, you can take turns and draw each other's shadows. Um, so use some side, sidewalk chalk that way. Just really get creative with these projects and have fun with them. Um, but thank you for watching and I will see you again next week with another fun STEM experiment. So have a good week and I will see you soon. Bye!